Hi guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you another of my redstone inventions. This is a base 14 clock with a digital display. Um, technically it's totally useless because it's base 14, so it'll count up to 14 before the next um, display goes up by 1. Um, and nothing else is done by that, but I chose 14 because it was the simplest number I could do uh, without making it too complicated. Um, the way it works, I have a um, clock down the bottom right set to pulse every three seconds, which then turns a rotary um, storage device in the top right corner. It is moving around, but it doesn't look like it because um, my computer's running a bit slowly. There you go, it moved a little bit. That moves up to 14, and as you can see, and that goes up to 14. Middle display will go up by one. There you go. That one, when that goes up to 14, now I'll change the display on the left to go up by 1. This will, and then when that one goes up to 14, everything will reset to 0. The um, way this works, there's the, the clock, which will change one rotary display on the right. That then changes the middle rotary uh, memory device. Then that sends out a minecart to make it as, as a, te yeah, sorry, to have a shorter pulse to make the final uh, display go up by 1. This is the first rotary display unit. Um, along here, oops, this is the pulse from the clock. And this carries on up around here and goes up along here. And every time it pulses, this row of pistons on the left will go down one. Next, this row of pistons uh, down here moves one, pushing them along again, and these ones, and then finally, my lag lets me fly up, doesn't need to be, this top row of pistons. Um, there is a repeater facing into the block, um, and glass doesn't conduct redstone, but solid blocks do. Well, they conduct by one block. I use redstone ore because it's obvious what it is. Um, and eat, there are um, seven different um, well circles, if you like, on here. One for each part of the display. Um, so when each of them is powered, it'll activate one of the lines on the display. If I explain, I I can show you that in a minute. Um, and they all go around together. So this one is a is the kind of top left of the display. So when it's on these, the red ones rest and all, they'll pulse out, which will make the that display show. I'll explain this very well. Um, but when there's glass, it won't. Um, every this one that, when it goes around 14 times, as it won't second, this bit of redstone ore powers it. And give it another three seconds. See that powers it. Redstone charge comes out. This moves around the next row. And it's exactly the same principle as before. Trouble is I can't use the same um activation method for the next row because it'll be stay powered for too long so uh, what I did here I made a pretty com well quite a large T flip flop which limits um, a pulse to one um, just one short pulse I didn't really know much about them back then so this is a fairly large design but when it's powered the cart will come down here across the detector rail which will set off the next row and just along back here it will stay on this uh, um, rail because that won't be powered then when then that when that gets powered it will stay go back to there to this one and stay there here's a closer view of the back back of the display as you can see when it's powered the um, well, when each of these are powered, they set off one of these 
the piston sets. So this top line will set off the top bit of the display right here. And that'll probably go back in in a second. No, it won't because it's not ring. Got some numbers to use that one. Like that. And as you can see, all of them use well the same method pretty much. And along here, they're all the same again. Thanks for watching guys and as always subscribe if you like. Um, there is a tutorial soon to be uploaded about how this is all uh, made, made parts of it. Yeah, thank again thanks for watching. Um, see you another time.